Hey everyone, welcome back to Camp Keyframe. My name is Bas, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can control different text layers with one main text layer. So you might not know what I mean by that, so let me just quickly show you. I have this uh, Instagram mockup file I made, and uh, what if I want to change the username or the time at the top here, or the comments or whatever? Uh, I made this settings composition with all these texts here. I have my username and if I type in, let's say, uh, test name, and then you can see here that all of the camp keyframe text changed to test name. And if I go back to settings and I change the time, let's say uh, 10, 50, uh, 53, and go back and then you can see that the text changes here as well. So that means that all of these texts control all of the other ones. So I'm going to quickly show you how to do that. It's fairly easy just with the use of some simple expressions. So for this, I'm going to go into this composition here and go into this comp where it, where it says the test name. I'm going to zoom in on that one. And this here we have this uh, text layer. So I'm going to open this up and go to text and then open source text here. And in here we find this expression. And what this is basically saying is for the source text, so what is displaying here, it should look at the composition called settings, which is this one over here. And it, it should look for the layer that says username. And if I go into my settings composition, this test name layer here is called username. And it should look for the text and the source text. So if I go in here, I open this up, go to text and the source text. This is what it says right here. So that means that these values here will be placed in here. So if we go to a different layer here, I will recreate it for you guys. So if I go into this composition here, uh, here we see the test name again. Let's just change that back quickly to camp keyframe. Camp keyframe. And there we go. For this example, let's look at this one here. We have view all 3764 comments. But if you look at my settings comp, it only says this number without comments behind it. So I'm going to recreate the expression that I used here so I can show you how it's done. Open this up and just delete everything. So what you want to do here is type in comp and then hit enter. So it already adds these brackets. Then I'm going to type some quotation marks and then type in the comp name, which in this case is called settings. So settings, hit enter, it already finds it over there. Then we're going to type dot layer, enter. And in here do the same thing, but then I want to use the layer name. And this layer, let's go here, it's called comments. So I'm going to type in here in between these quotation marks, comments, enter, all right. And then add dot text dot source text and the T from source text should be capital T but you can also find it over here so hit enter and then end with a semicolon and now it should look at the number in this comp here in this comments layer here to this text to this source text here so if I type in a random number here then it should update right there but if I want to add the word comments behind it I can go into my expression here and then here I'm going to delete the semicolon for now I'm going to type in plus and then quotation marks and let's uh, say space comments because I also want to add a space in between and there you go already and let's just end it with a semicolon just to be nice and neat so this way you can add some text after the stuff that you gain from the other composition here so that's a really easy and quick way to add and alter text with one controller text and I've made this composition with all these uh, things in here. So if I quickly need to update uh, something over here or I need to cr uh, create a different visual for a presentation with some different names or some different text, I can do it in here. And this, um, example text right here. And then you can see, oh, in this one, no, let's go to this one, that here it's updated as well. So that's it for today. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you learned a new skill in today's video. And if you did, please consider giving this video a thumbs up or even consider subscribing to the channel if you aren't already. Thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you on the next Camp Keyframe. Thanks, bye-bye.